Hi everyone, this is your reading for Sunday the 29th of April. It's really nice to be with you today. Let's have a look at what the cards want you to be aware of. And I'm using the Shadowscapes deck for today's reading. So we've got the Knight of Wands in reverse. We have the Two of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Okay, so because they're all in reverse, I'm gonna read them this way around first, and then I'll turn them back around. So the Knight of Cups is, we have two Knights here today. So a Knight card is a court card, and it's someone who is starting to master the energy of the suit. So one's is fire, so we've got someone or an energy of controlling fire, which can be very fun and creative, but which can also be very angry and destructive. And then we have another knight um, who is mastering watery emotional energy. He's getting to the holy grail there. So that's about managing the spiritual and intuitive side of yourself and also the creative and uh, nurturing and caring sides of yourself. The two of pentacles in the middle is the infinite ability to have to deal with life on life's terms, the things that life throws at you, and really having the strength and ability to do that. In this case, we're doing it with real flair and beauty, and we're turning it into a circus performance. It's really a beautiful card here. So all three of these were in reverse. So what have we got? So we've got the Knight of Wands in reverse. So we're not overly um, struggling or polarized by our passions and desires. So you're not overly angry by anything that happens. You're not um, going to shut the door and shut everyone else out today and say, I have to work on this passion project. I need to be left alone today. Don't interrupt me. I need to do this. The Knight of Wands, in a word, is passion, or in another word, is drive, and, and being driven to really do something with what you care about. Because it's in reverse, the heat is off. You can kind of relax a little bit. It's, um, the, you know, the constant process of balancing your creative self with your um, angry, kind of destructive self, and the constant work of balancing the physical with the spiritual and, the, you know, nurturing and giving versus receiving and all of that. That's a constant balance that we all have to find in our lives and that we have to deal with all the time. And because the night is in reverse, the pressure is off there. So when it comes to our creativity and the way we react, the universe supports us here in not making that a major issue today that we don't really need to deal with very much. And the emotional sides of things, faulty kind of emotional experiences about yourself, negative memories, positive memories, connection with a higher power, love for other people, creative abilities, all of those things as well today aren't really going to be higher on your list of priorities. And because those things don't make um, huge waves in your life, they don't really cause a lot of emotional upset, and there's no real kind of fiery arguments or destruction or new beginnings of any kind today, you get to put these two pentacle down, pentacles down for the first time ever, and you get to relax. Because the two of pentacles in the regular tarot is someone who juggles these things, but there's an infinity symbol there. And it means that you always have to find a balance between your positives and your negatives, and you always have to find a balance between the spiritual and the physical, because we are spiritual beings having a human experience. We can't just sit under a tree and meditate because we need food and water and shelter and human contact. So we can't just be um, beings of spirit because we have bodies and we're, we're 
of the earth and we have egos. So it's an eternal process of handling that. It's kind of the monkey on your back. He's distracted at the moment playing with a butterfly and a yo-yo. But it is that monkey on your back of listening to your guidance and then trying to make the world fit around that and juggling it eternally. So today is a day where there isn't a lot of drive and push and need and desire on your behalf. And because of that, you're able to let go of the endless cycle of having to balance things out, trying to manage them. And it's a really good day to surrender as well. It's a great day to say, wow, today I'm experiencing a sense of freedom because I'm not trying to manage everything. I'm not trying to manage myself all the time. I'm not controlling life and my emotions and other people's feelings. Wow, this is really freeing. What that could lead you to is taking your entire life to a higher power of your understanding and saying, do you know what? I surrender my whole life to you for you to run and for you to deal with because I can't handle it all eternally. And I think that if you were involved in it, I think you'd run it better than I could by myself anyway. So that's a personal choice. That's something that you can choose to do. Surrendering to the universe is really helpful because it gets the universe on side and it takes you out of the driver's seat and you automatically start to take better actions. But that's only something you do if you feel comfortable with it. You know, if you have a higher power of your understanding, if you're an atheist, then obviously that's not something you're going to be interested in. But the main theme that you get on this day is quiet and the ability to put things down, not to have to handle and manage everything and to get to relax, to get to chill and to just have a really nice day off, which is uncomplicated and which is nurturing and healing to you and allows you to recharge your batteries. So it looks like a great day. Number wise, we've got two court cards. So one and one is two. And another two is four. Four is about structure, insecurity, and stability. So that's really what you have on this day. You have the structure of your life. Be happy and grateful for that. Enjoy the structures of your life that you've got. And also just be appreciative that you know, emotionally, you're not going through the mill. And in terms of your life mission, you're also not being driven and driven crazy by trying to find something that's just out of your reach. It's really a day where you can sit back, relax, connect with a higher power if you want. And really just have a nice Sunday off. So that's what I get for you here on this Sunday, the 29th of April. If you would like a private reading with me about any of these kind of aspects, emotional creativity, life purpose, uh, vocational aptitudes, relationships, then please get in touch with me via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. And in my readings, I use the tarot, numerology and astrology. And I use all three to give me a really in-depth look at who you are, what you're about, and what's coming up in future. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel, and I'll speak to you tomorrow.